they're, they're purposely made that way. They are concept records, and there's a lot of thought and care put into how the albums are presented, how they're sequenced, how songs relate to one another, how the artwork relates to the music, relates to the video, relates back to the artwork. Um, so that connective tissue, that continuity, uh, it's just a natural thing for me. It, it helps me make sense and, and put order to the, the not only the, the, the result, but the process. Um, where things are coming from, how they're uh, being delivered. Uh, and sometimes that even continues over into the, the recording studio as well. So I, I think for me, it gives, gives me a chance to have a deeper a more meaningful relationship with the experience, the material, and I hope the listener, uh, the observer, also has that experience as well. Well, some of my, my favorite bands uh, of all time could be The, the Cure or uh, Nirvana or Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. Um, but I love bands that have a really strong sense of identity. Uh, and I never really want to sound like anyone else. Sometimes you fall into that trap and you have to try you have to try and rescue a song that may be indicative of something else that you may have heard inadvertently. But I think the goal is to really arrive at a place where you are you and no one else. You have your own fingerprints. And if you get out of the way and you work hard enough, you can find yourself. It's a great question, and, and I would agree. We do have a really special relationship with Finland and Finnish people. From the very beginning, I felt like people in Finland understood us. They believed in us. They supported us. It was one of the first countries, if not the first country in Europe, to really embrace 30 Seconds to Mars. And we'll never forget that. That means a lot. Uh, you know, before we were selling you know these big venues around the world it was in Finland first that people rallied around the music uh, so I think that the relationship has been long it's been deep and I think that we understand one of another uh, uh, some of that is magic you don't know why that is uh, but I think uh, for the other part of it is, is, is the band we have a, a real appreciation for the country I think a lot of people may overlook at it or think of it as just a uh, maybe a place they stop uh, for, to tour once in a while to pick up a check. But for us, we actually really love it here. Um, we have friends here. We have our favorite uh, places to visit, our favorite restaurants uh, to eat. And it's, it's an absolutely gorgeous place. I look at it as one of the most magical places on the planet. Well, I remember Requiem for a Dream as being a really intense time. Making the film was a lot like watching it, but watching it every day. Uh, so it was, it was a challenging time, a wonderful time, a time to see what I was made of as an actor, as an artist. And uh, really, I think one of the few times that I made a film that was really a film that I would... It was really in line with my tastes and my aesthetic as a, an individual as well.